it actually, it actually might be one in the next room, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, basically anything with sand on it, Link will not touch for some reason. That's sort of sometimes infuriating because sometimes there's like a little bit left, and, he, and you're just like wondering well, why why won't he do anything? And it's because yeah, there's a little bit of sand on. It. I actually I had that problem in the last recoin. There was like a box that I had to push, and there was like like there was so little sand that I couldn't even tell. But I'm just like, why aren't you pushing it? And then I'm like. I guess I guess there was still some sand on it. I'm not really sure why Fee said those things are ferocious. Like, if they jump on you, they don't do damage. I mean, they might eventually, but um, no, they they, they won't. Just, just just they don't do it. They don't do anything. At least I'm getting a lot of money. Look at all this money I'm getting. I'm I'm getting so rich. Like Link, you're gonna be a very rich man. I wish that I could get a job doing this. Like, just adventuring, and basically the adventures just pay for themselves because you, like, just pick up so much money on the way, and it's, it's, it's a good cycle, you know? I mean, you go on the adventure, you get the money, you use the money to go on more adventures to, like, buy stuff, and then you get more money after you spend that money. It's just like a cycle of fun. Okay, is this guy gone? I'm just gonna use a... I'm just gonna slingshot and blow him up. Bye. Just take that. Those things do respawn. Or at the very least, the um, ones that you need will respawn. Like the ones in the room with the gust bellows would respawn because you sort of had to use them to um, blow up the rocks. I mean, I, I guess technically you could um, use the you could use your own bombs, but in case you run out of bombs, I guess. And once again, another room, and that enemy right there is the worst enemy in the whole game. And I'll show you how to defeat them. But once again, we have a bottomless pit that somehow got filled up with sand, which is kind of interesting. But oh well, these things are kind of infuriating. Basically, you have to like blow on one side and it'll spin it. But if you do it on the other side, it'll go the other way. And sometimes it's hard to tell which way is which. Um, right here, you can use the gust bellows to spin the pinwheel, and that's how you open this door. Um, excuse me. All right, there we go. If you're wondering, the gust bellows like never runs out of power. You can just sort of blow forever, which is kind of cool. At least they didn't make that that the case in Smash or else they would be so OP. So here's how you kill them. See like this like, that, that, that one moving? I, I didn't know that they moved. I thought that they all just sort of stayed still. But anyways, just sort of like hit the um like, like electrically looking part that's like had like a blue stripe. Hit that again, then um stab it right in the eye and that's how you kill them. And that's pretty cool. And I think, I think next up we've, there he is. There he is. Is, is he gonna like see me? I, I don't think he can see me just yet. Oh, he will eventually. These things are ridiculous. All right, so um, come down. Uh, come on, get over here. Alright, there we go. So here's how you kill him. Wait for him to shoot you. Shield bash comes back and hits him. If you do not have a shield, you cannot shield bash. You will not do any damage to him. He will never leave you alone. Like, look, let's see Let's see if I try to run away. I mean, first of all, this would be super annoying. Because here he is shooting, like, his little bombs. And what you have to do is you have to, um... Okay, wait for it. Gotcha, he's dead. I hate those things. They th give you a bunch of money. And all of that money just sort of went off. Like, I got 30 of the rupees, and I probably only got, like, less than half. But, like, what you have to do here is you have to be, like, pushing the gust bellows. You have to, like, blow this thing across one of the sides. Okay, there we go. But, like, good luck doing that with that thing shooting missiles at you. Like, seriously, just good luck. Like, it's not going to happen. You're going to die. That wasn't actually the sentry that killed me. It was one in a different room. And also, the sentry is the reason that my shield broke in the first place. I keep calling them sentries because I think that's what they're called, but I could be wrong. I'll use um fee to um can like look at one next just so I'll know for sure. Maybe it was actually one of like what there were like three of them in the dungeon. That's one of them. Like the second one broke my shield and almost killed me. Then the third one did kill me, and the third one is the worst because of like its location. But I'm getting ahead of my link. Seriously, way back here, way back here. Wait, where am I? Yeah. All right, Link. I know you. I know you're not known for jumping. Apparently, Link is allowed to jump in on Breath of the Wild. Like you actually get a designated jump button instead of just sort of like jumping automatically, which will be like they believe the um second Zelda game to have like Link able to like jump like whenever he wants or have like a designated jump button. The first one being Adventure of Link because Adventure of Link was sort of like a platformer and stuff. But yeah, like. The new Breath of the Wild looks really cool, because, I mean, you can jump, you can, like, climb trees. Apparently, you can, like, cook your own food. All the stuff in the trailer was all, like, in the wilderness, so I'm not really sure how it'll play out. Like, I hope that there are still, like, dungeons of some sort. Like, I hope that there are still 
towns and stuff because I don't know I just think that that would that just would still be cool but um I mean if there aren't any that that's still okay I mean as, as long as the game plays well I don't really care what what like it's like also these things are annoying I'm not even sure if I mentioned it. you have to like kill all of the heads at once and the easiest way to do that is just a shield bash and then they'll all be like stunned and then you can do like a horizontal and slash and kill it. There's like another one. They always give like a okay. See, that's what I did. I, I messed up the shield bash. That, that's like the worst thing you can do with. Okay, did I just kill it? Okay, I guess you don't need to shield bash. That thing right there is an enemy that we'll have to fight. That thing is ugly looking. Look at that. Wow, that is funny. I, I guess it's because it's like in the path. Wow, that thing is broken. Like right here, you have to be sure that you got all this dust out, or else Link will not push it. That's actually where I got stuck. Like I was like um. Uh, move? Why are you not moving it? And then it's like, oh, because it's less sand on it. Get out of here. All right, there we go. And then you have to sort of like pull it. So I guess move it like this. So I just want to like push it until you can't really push it in like a certain way anymore. And we basically just have to push it all the way across. Um, let's see. Wait, can I not push it that way anymore? Uh, wait, what? What, is, there, is there sand in the way? Oh, what, what, well, Link, look at that. Look at that. He won't push it over this little piece of dirt. It's a big metal box. It's just dirt, Link. Come on, man. But yeah, it's sort of funny how, like... I mean, for one thing, dirt is really, like, I guess really strong. I mean, look, at you can't kill it with the sword. Maybe the gust... Maybe this is, like, magical dirt, and only the gust bellows can defeat it. I don't know. I don't really... I, maybe I'm looking too deep into this stuff, but seriously, like, it's just ridiculous when you can't handle, like, a little piece of dirt, but... Oh, well. I guess I guess it's dust, technically. I, I was technically using the wrong word, but oh, well. Can you, like, get on there, Link? Uh, you want to climb it? All right. Running start. There we go. All right. There we go. That's good. So here's actually something that took me a while to figure out how to do. I'm not going to show that just yet, because I have to come over here first, because there's some cool stuff over here. More of these guys. They're every Like, these things are just everywhere. And, uh, okay, I, I get... And they all just sort of fell off. I mean, they didn't die, obviously, because there's a ground underneath, but still, they're pretty bad. We got another one of these things. At least I won't get another cutscene, because I already got one in this part. But yeah, so I really like this puzzle over here, because it sort of makes you think outside the box. And, like, it sort of makes you, like, question what Zelda games normally do. Like, normally, if you have if you have a gate, like, you can't interact with the gate at all, right? Like, if you, like, try and, like, slash, it's like, like, it looks like a gate. But it's really just like a wall with like a gate texture. But in here, basically these bars are separate things. And there's like, like there's space. Basically what I'm saying is that you can actually use the gust bells to go through the gate. And then you can shoot a um, slingshot between the bars and hit the goddess, um, hit the time shift stone inside. And I mean, like Zelda games in the past, you wouldn't be able to do that. Like this would basically just be like a wall. Like you can't shoot between the two little rungs. But in this game, you can. I guess it's sort of like. And then in Link Between Worlds, you can just paper. Like I guess it's not paperizing. What is it like? Clinging to the walls, and um, then you can do also. Okay, can we like um? These guys are actually pretty easy. Basically, all you have to do is just like spin the thing on their head, open up their mouth, hit the gem in the front, hit the gem in the back, miss the gem in the back. If they hit you, they do a bunch of damage, but that's no big deal. They. Okay, I'm not really sure. Okay. Okay. I just charge up a Skyward Strike for no apparent reason. Okay, B, and then A. Come on, buddy, you got this. There we go. Okay, somehow my spin attack missed, but oh well. Anyway, there you go. Then you get a bunch of rupees. And then the um, gate with the, with the time shift stone behind. That's how that opens. So now we can get to our treasure chest. Can I, where's, where are the rest of my hearts? I'm still one heart short, dang it. That's another, um, that's another enemy that it took me a while to... Um, figure out how to kill, which is pretty stupid because it's clearly got like that windmill thing. And apparently I guess, guess my shield got hit twice because, okay, I, I think that the, those things are called armoses, by the way. And um, I think that hit my shield once also. But yeah, standard wind shield, you can only um, hit them. They can be hit four times and then they'll break. So um, if, if I like, if my shield breaks, I am going to just go back to Skyloft and buy a new one. Because, um, you will see when these sentry beams become, like, impossible to avoid. I will show it in a little bit. Uh, I th actually in this room, I think. No, not, not, not just quite yet. So this is the left side of that main room that we keep going to. This is the, I'm not even sure if I showed that there was a gate over here. 
but um, there is, and you basically just press the switch to get past. So now we've done like all of the entries in this area. Like we came through there, then we came through over there. I may as well save because why not? We, we've we've done some progress, makes sense. And then after that, we've now we'll just come back through here. And here's actually a kind of cool puzzle. It's not really that cool. It, it's sort of interesting, I guess. So you've got a lot of sand, right? And Link can't really run in it for that long. But if you look at your map, which you conveniently just got, you'll see this is very similar to um, the way you had to do in the... Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Huh. Oh, you want to fight? Huh? You, huh? you want to fight? Huh? 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 I, I got you. I gotcha. Hope you like bombs, buddy. That's what I thought. So anyways, um, you just want to want to find where the um, thing is. Okay, it's right here, and you can just sort of follow the map. It's actually kind of cool that you, like, get the map right beforehand. Then I can probably just run the rest of the way, or I probably... Okay, um, let's, let's put the bombs away. We're all civil people here. Um, let's just blow away the stuff and blow through this. And basically, um, you get a little um, crawly, crawly spaces. And I just want to say, Link has the biggest balls to do this. Because, I mean... I would never, ever do something like this. I mean, I don't even care what would be at the end. Like, this is so crazy. Like, if you just got, like, stuck, or if, like, the thing collapsed on you, you'd be dead. But this is a video game, and Link... I mean, I, I guess you, you don't get the Triforce of Courage for not doing crazy stuff. So, I mean, all, props to you, Link. Props to you for crawling in the tiniest crawl space ever. Got another Golden Skull. Those things are... I think a bunch of... I, th I have more Golden Skulls than regular skull which is kind of funny i feel like golden skulls out of all like skulls in general out of all of like those like um treasures that are drop based i feel like the skulls come the least um, like are, have the lowest chance of dropping from like the bacoblins and stuff because i feel like i feel like okay i got another amber relic i feel like i've gotten a lot more like um jelly blobs and monster claws but i'm not totally sure so after this um harrowing experience of crawling through super tiny um Crawl space. You think that Link would never do that again, but um, he's gonna about to do it again in about one minute. So sorry, Link. So sorry that you have to do this again. Uh, let's line it up right here. Um, and it basically goes to like, okay, it's something like, I think it's like right here. Come back. All right, sweet. You don't really. I mean, if you want, you can be like super cautious and constantly be looking. But I just sort of like, I just like to get a decent idea of where everything is. Um, okay, time to start bombing. Time to start bombing. Bomb you. Okay, um, I, I learned that I can't actually, um, okay, there you go, bomb you. Why not? Bomb you, too. There we go. Oh, did he just eat it? He ate my bomb! What? Okay, I, I guess the bomb, I think he ate my bomb, but the bomb was still active, so that's actually pretty funny. We can come across here. There's not actually anything over here. I mean, there's some stuff over here, but this isn't the way to go to progress, I guess, is how I should be wording. I mean, we, we can get some rupees and probably another amber relic. Am I right about that? Yep. Look at all these. Why are they, like, even here? Like, I really wish that there was, like, an explanation for some of the treasures. Because, like, Amber Rock just sort of appear everywhere. Like, like may maybe, like, the magic dust makes them or something. But anyway, through this, we've got another crawl space. Another one of these things. Like, I'm just, okay. You know what? I'll let that one live. I don't think that they can actually get through the crawl spaces. And here, um, it's a bit more maze-like. Um, general rule, if you see, like, the wall that has, like, that, like, little, um, ancient robot face on it. Like, right over there, I guess, and get the rupee. That means that you've gone the wrong way, which makes sense because it's a wall. It actually sort of reminds me of that, like, part in Wind Waker to get the, um, Picto box. Where you have to, like, crawl through all those places. Then you have, like, the rats that, like, with the trap doors, and that's kind of rude. You can, like, tell the right way to go. Because, like, if the bottom is, like, all wooden, that means that it's a... That means that it's a trap! And then you're gonna fall and die. Or not die, you just sort of have to restart everything again. It always sort of puzzled me, like, how exactly did, like, the Picto box get there? I mean, I guess that, like, sort of inferring that, like, Tingle stole it. Because Tingle was the one in jail, and may maybe that's why he got put in jail. I mean, he claims that it was just because he was being himself, and, uh, he's a thief, that Tingle. I'm glad that Tingle's not in this game. I guess this is probably before Tingle was even born. See, look, you can't hit the pots, what, because there's a little bit of dust around? What, now is it better for you, buddy? Alright, see? That's sort of funny. I don't think I was even going the right way to be. I think I'm supposed to go around over here. So the puzzle with this is just sort of use the gust bellows to blow away all the dust. And basically, there are spikes underneath, and you don't want to go where the spikes are because spikes hurt. So just sort of avoid them, and eventually you'll find the path. Just sort of like follow the path where there are no spikes. So 
That's pretty cool. And there are these things everywhere, which is pretty interesting. Um, all right, can I like, can I like point it a little bit better? All right, get out of here. All right, there we go. Okay, sweet. I see. I see. I've gotten three of the jelly blobs, and I haven't gotten like any of the, um, what do you call it? The, I, I haven't gotten any monster claws. I guess there have been very few keys. Have there? I don't think I've there have even been any bokoblins. So maybe that's not fair. I mean, these things are everywhere. So maybe it's not that the treasure appears more. Frequently, I think it's more along the lines of the enemies that drop the um, jelly blobs are just more common enemies to begin with. I mean, look at it. these things are just in droves. So I mean, if I've like killed a hundred of them in one part, you're it's more likely that you'll get a like, at least one um, jelly blob. So that that switch right there just opened the door. But if you keep following this, there's a treasure chest, and I'm still just blowing away everything. The treasure chest is like somewhere over here. I think it's like in like the very corner. Is it over there? No, it's this way. Um, keep on. It's probably like buried, so I can't even see. Okay, there we go. Can li okay, I guess that there isn't enough dust to prevent me from getting it. And we got another red rupee, so this we're getting rich. We've got got 558. I'm glad I got all those wallet upgrades. Or else, oh thanks, thanks, buddy. I'm really hoping that you do that for me. Like, really happy. I don't think, did I, did I hit any of the spikes? I think that's the first time I've ever done that area with not hitting any spikes. I mean, I hit those, whatever they're called, Porky Puffers. That's from Mario. I don't know what they're called in this game. But, um, yeah, I hit a bunch of them, but close enough. So, right here, this is the other side of that last year. Like, this, this room, you just sort of, like, go in all the time. And, um, it's kind of funny because, I don't know, like, it looks like... It, it's just funny, like, how there's, like, a central room in this. I mean, it's not really fun. More along the lines, but it's, it's, like, sort of cool that you have, like, a central room and, like, everything sort of comes from that and, like, you just sort of go into it multiple times. So, anyways, now we just have to, um, sort of wait. Like, this minecart, as you can see, has a time shift stone in it, and that'll allow you to transfer this thing. We've got another one of the sentries, or what are they called? I'm actually going to look up what they're called using fee, so let's see what we've got. Uh, what are they called? Centro. Okay, they're Centro. My bad. Built in ancient times. Somehow. And then, yeah, that's how you do. You compel the missiles with certain items at your disposal, such as your shield. As in, only your shield. One of these enemies unable. Well, let's just say they're really bad because, okay, you better not break my shield this time. Okay, or please don't kill me either. I'm, I'm, I'd be like, please don't kill me either, please. Gotcha once, and it's just annoying because they take so long. I mean, I mean, you have to do two shield bashes plus deal with like these little thingies. All right, killed one, killed the other. You have to like basically with those things. The one of them you have to slice vertically, the other one you have to slice horizontally, which makes sense because basically wherever that strip is. And there we go, second one dead. Okay. Hey, I want my money. Link's not doing this stuff for free, you know. He's got a family to feed, probably. I don't know. And nicely the um. This thing stopped because I didn't want to spin the pinwheel yet because I had to deal with the centro. But like I said, if you don't have a shield, good luck spinning the pinwheel with that thing shooting rockets everywhere. And good luck surviving um, Bemos Alley over here. There are a bunch of Bemoses. They'll like activate. I mean, the Bemoses aren't bad because they're immobile. But good luck dodging the rockets while you're at it. So anyway, if you like just hide behind... The mine cart, they can't shoot you. I guess they can't see you, and even if they did, they just hit the cart. So, anyway, this one you have to kill. This is like the first one in the game that you actually have to kill. And guess who didn't know how to kill it the first time I played? Me. So, guess who got stuck for like three hours trying to figure it out? Hey, buddy, I'm over here. Huh? Hi. Peekaboo! Failed. Peekaboo. There we go. Now he's dead. It's nice how, like, the mine cart just sort of, like, stops dead in its tracks to allow you to, um, finish up. We got more um, more Bemo Sally over here. Just, as I said, hide behind the minecart, and you shouldn't get killed. I mean, you might still. Um, No guarantees. Like, see, look. It, it, see, look. It's just shooting the um, time shift stone. Alright, one more, and alright. Freedom! We made it! Um, These things over here, you can um, use to um, quickly pull the uh, minecart and deactivate the Bemos while you're at it. Right here, let's open this up, and this is, uh, once again, a easy way back to the first room of the dungeon, or I, it technically, it, it, technically, it's the third room of the dungeon. What the? Um, did I not spin it? For, I think I like stopped spinning. Right. Okay. Um, Link, you want to like 
not 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 have issues. All right, there we go. Not touching the nunchuck at all, and all right, the pinwheel has been spun. Uh, I mean, I guess I can save again because I did just do a decent amount. That was like I actually real. I've only been recording for 44 minutes and. I'm already like almost done, so I, sh I should have this entire dungeon done within an hour.